Do you work in the spray foam insulation industry? When it comes to spray foam, your health depends on using the right respirator. So let's break down respirator types by comparing them to vehicles. Why? Because it's fun. This is an N95 and it's like the Prius of respirators. It's not flashy, it's not powerful, and it's definitely not protective against isocyanates, but it will get you through dusty prep work in a crawl space or attic. Just don't ask it to do anything hard or look cool while it's doing it. This is a half-face respirator. Think of half-face respirators like a base model Jeep Wrangler with no top and no doors. It leaves you open to the elements. Fine for cleanup and trimming as long as you throw on a pair of goggles. Full-face respirators are like a Jeep Wrangler with the top on and good mud tires. They're great for outdoor spraying application and have better protection all around. Just not a ton of power. And just like a Jeep depends on good tires, if you're using a half mask or a full face respirator, its performance is going to depend on the cartridges. For spray foam, you want to use organic vapor P100 cartridges. Supplied air respirators are like the Dodge Ram with a Cummins diesel of the respirator world. Bulky and expensive, but they've got the power you need. If you're spraying indoors, this is what protects your lungs for the long haul. Choosing the right respirator is just as important as choosing the right foam, reactor, and spray gun. Match the right respirator to the job and you'll keep breathing easy for a long career.